Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's Eric Ye here. If you guys have been following me, I'm still here in Washington, D.C. And whenever you are in D.C. Uh, or Maryland, for that matter, uh, you should actually try uh, the famous uh, Maryland blue crab. Blue crab is actually really, really popular in uh, Baltimore, but um, I think the entire state of Maryland is all crazy about uh, blue crab. I've heard that blue crab has been very, very expensive these days uh, because of, of a uh, supply shortage. Uh, but hopefully I'm able to find something today and can't wait to uh, use some of that hammer on the famous Maryland blue crab. So let's go and get some crab. Alright guys, so the funny thing is, um, I actually found a place that serves uh, blue crab. I made it over here to Virginia uh, at a restaurant called Quarter Deck. It's right behind me. Um, a lot of the other places that um, I looked at that served uh, blue crab, a lot of people had some negative reviews, maybe about services, especially during COVID. But I think this one seems to be pretty safe. You can see right there, quarter deck is right behind me. They got a patio. Hopefully we get some seating either outside or inside, but hopefully in the shade. So I'm so excited. Let's go in. I got a table inside because it's too hot outside. Um, and so what I did so far is I ordered basically what you have to order when it comes to quarter decks. So I got a half dozen um, uh, crab and I also got a lot of the crab cakes, I got some hush puppies, uh, got some sides among other things, but those are like the, the key components of a proper, proper uh, crab feast here in uh, Maryland slash Virginia. Uh, the one thing I want to say that's very interesting is, first of all, they got our table prepared. Look, they got this gigantic roll of uh, paper and we're just gonna feast on here. And usually when you have Maryland crab, you usually get like a back base sauce. Now, it's like a whole bunch of seasoning they put on the crab. It has like celery, it has like cayenne pepper, black pepper. Um, but today, today at Quarter Deck, we're trying a different type of spice. The different type of spice they have is called J.O. sauce. And I actually poured some here on my hand. And the main difference between the J.O. sauce or the J.O. spice versus uh, the back bay or the old bay is these rock salt. Can you see that? Huge rock salt on the palm of my hand. And this is exactly how they, uh, they cook or steam uh, the crab. So I'm super excited to try how this one is going to differ from the uh, old bay. But they said uh, cooking the crab will take at least 30 minutes. So check back with you in 30 minutes. So the uh, waitress just came by and uh, uh, what I want to showcase is they gave us these little hammers right here, okay? And this is what I'm going to use to crack uh, open my crab. And they also gave us uh, these knives. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go into the, all the nooks and crannies and pick out um, all the meats, all the sweet, juicy meat inside uh, the crabs and the crab legs. So uh, super excited to give this a try. It's going to be a lot of work, but you know what? I'm ready to work for my food. Oh. You guys need any butter? Uh, yeah, you can just put it on the side. Okay, and there's vinegar and spice over there as well. Okay. You can put your shells in the bucket. Okay. Is this a whole crab? The time has come, and I'm so excited for all the food that's right here. Okay, I got my butter here. I got half a dozen medium-sized crab. I got some oyster. Got some hush puppies, got some uh, crab cakes, and some lobster bisque. But just look at this. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna tease you guys a little bit. I'm gonna start with the appetizer before I get on to the main course, which is the crab, the Maryland blue crab. The first thing I wanna showcase is this lobster bisque. Can you see this right here? Oh. Big chunks of lobster right here, and it's so creamy. Look at that. Yes, you see that? 
going for my first bite. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, so rich. Mm. The lobster bisque is actually super, super rich. Love the butter flavor. Big chunks of of lobster. Oh, so much flavor. I think that's the first thing that I get. My mouth is like covered with a layer of this um, buttery film. Oh, so rich. This would be good with some some bread, but not gonna need any bread today. All right. <clears throat> now, the other thing when you have. Uh, when you come to Maryland or Virginia in this case uh, is to get some Maryland blue crab or sorry Maryland crab cake they call this the mini crab cake and take a look at this can you see right here they have some I think it's like tartar sauce on the side give me a slice of lemon I'm gonna drizzle it on uh, this crab cake oh yes love this and I'm gonna actually uh, do a cross section of this crab cake. Look. Oh. oh, can you see this? It is so needy. Okay. I'm so happy, like, this place doesn't just give you a whole bunch of breadcrumb, but just look at the big chunks of crab meat right here. Alright, first bite without uh, any sauce. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right. I feel so fortunate to be eating this. Big chunks of meat, like I said before. Look at that cross section. I get a little bit of shell that's completely edible in the crab cake. And everything's so fresh. In fact, I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to dip it in this, what I think is tartar sauce. Okay? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. That tartar sauce is like some mayo, maybe some lemon. I definitely taste some citrus. Mmm. So good, guys. So amazingly good. Now, that cake is always good, but working through other muskets whenever you're having blue crab. Now, I think hush puppies is not something we see too much uh, back in LA. I think it's like a, a corn based like uh, mix right here. You see that? That is the hush puppy. So let me take a bite and show you kind of the cross section of this hush puppy. Mm. Can you see that? This is a cross section of the hush puppy. Um, it almost tastes like a falafel. Like a really, really good falafel. Okay, now, just like before, I'm gonna dip my hush puppy in the sauce, and here we go. Right here, the sauce is kind of like a um, like a horseradish paste. Some mayo, some secret seasoning that I don't know what it is, but I think I definitely taste some horseradish. That's a good flavor enhancer. All right. Now, when I actually saw some oysters, I said to myself, "Let's get some fried oysters, guys. Okay? Let's round off the seafood feast with uh, some fried oysters and take a look at this." Yeah, on the side, they gave me some what I think is cocktail sauce. But look at this: big chunks of fried oysters and I'm gonna take this lemon right here and I'm going to squeeze oh look at that yes squeeze squeeze and 
Let's take a bite of this oyster, okay? Shall we? Yes, we shall. Mm. Wow. A fried oyster is so delicious. It is juicy. It's plump. I just one bite this thing. Okay. I feel like I owe it to you guys to showcase what it looks like inside. So, let me bite into it and show you the cross section of this fried oyster. Look at that. Looks amazing. Okay. There you go. See the cross section? Okay, look at that. I took a I took a pretty big bite of this oyster, so there's only a little bit left. But oyster, nice and fresh, juicy. That's the, that's that's the one thing I wanna um, emphasize. It's so juicy. Mm. That, my friends, is also a must get. Alright, so I think you guys have waited long enough for the main course, the start of the show, okay? The Baltimore or Maryland or Virginia blue crab. I got half a dozen, half a dozen medium sized. A blue crab, and you can see the seasoning that's on top. Okay, and look at that. And they also gave me some butter on the side, which I probably won't use too much, but I will uh, sample it just for you guys to see. And of course, they gave me this huge mallet that I'm going to um, going to crack my. Uh, Crab with. I'm gonna show you exactly what it's like eating a blue crab. First of all, look how big. Okay, this is a medium size, and watch out. This is uh, the horn. Now, obviously, when you cook a crab, they get red, but I think the Maryland blue crab is blue, and it's a name blue crab. So, I'm not sure if there's any ex like proper way to do this, but the way I'm gonna attack this crab is actually to break the limbs off. Okay, here is the claw, and I can already taste that seasoning. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to crack this open. Take a look. Breaking it in, and look at that. Here's a little piece. Here's a bigger piece. Now, I'm gonna go for the big piece. Let's see how this crab tastes. Mm. Oh, it's so sweet. Now, they gave us a bucket right here, and this is where we're going to put all our shell in the jail spice, which encompasses uh, little blocks or little chunks of uh, sea salt. Oh, guys, just like the meat in here. Can you see this? The meat in here is delicious. So good. So good. <clears throat> so. That was just kind of like a, a cross section of the limb. Let's see what the entire body looks like. Right? You can hear people around me are just like using that hammer and cracking away at every piece of this crab. Now, take a look at this. What I'm gonna do with this crab is I actually turn it around and I'm gonna pull off this little tail right here, okay? There's probably a name for this, but I call this the Space Needle. Okay. Um, let's see. 
All right, I'm just gonna go with, with the hammer. Watch this. Okay, I'm actually using a lot of force when I am cracking this. Oh, look at this. Another great way is just to peel it from the back. Oh, look at this. The tamale of the sea. Okay, now, mm, my finger is just covered with this Jill's seasoning. And look at this. I call this the tamale of the sea. Can you see that? Mmm. A little eggy. A little bit fishy. But a lot of flavor. Look at this. Mmm. Gotta still watch out for some of that shell. But this is what it looks like inside. And look, this is just a seasoning. And actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lick the shell right here. Mmm. Get some of that seasoning. And then right here, the middle part of the meat. Look at that. Look how succulent that is. Okay. You gotta watch out when eating crab. This right here. I think these are like little filters, okay? These are not edible, so don't attempt to eat that. But this section right here, right here, at the end of the limb, this will be very good. Watch. Oh. That is so good. It's so sweet. And without any seasoning, it's like just fresh, sweet, tender, juicy crab meat. And if you want a kick, do what I did. I licked the, the shell of this to get a little of that chill spice. It's almost like, okay, it's almost having, having like a margarita, right? So when you have margarita or when you have tequila, you know how sometimes they like they salt the rim of um, your glass? So you drink your margarita, go ahead and touch the rim of the, the margarita glass. Same thing here. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Mm. With blue crab meat. And I'm gonna lick, dab on my tongue with the seaweed. Go easy on the seasoning because it is a little salty, but certainly adds a crazy lot of spice. Gosh, this is the best. Do yourself a favor. If you ever have a chance to come out to the East Coast, more specifically around the um, Maryland area, you know, definitely, definitely try uh, the Maryland crab. I think the crab season tends to start around like April of every single year and uh, maybe end around September, October, or November. I think that's a time frame. So when this video was shot, we're definitely in season. So um, we're, we're fortunate enough to be able to try uh, Maryland crab and this is exactly what uh, this area is known for. And I definitely, definitely give it uh, my highest recommendation. The only thing that um, you have to be mindful of is when eating crab, you definitely have to work for it, right? So I'm gonna continue to work through all the crevices and dig out every single piece of the meat because this crab deserves to be eaten properly. Okay, I'm not gonna miss anything on here. Uh, so you guys gonna have to go, but please, 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 uh, if you enjoy watching this video, give me a big like, big thumbs up, uh, comment down below. Let me know uh, if there are any other things I need to try that I may have missed on the seafood extravaganza. Uh, let me know if you had a chance to try a blue crab, and uh, how about a difference or comparison between the JL sauce or the JL seasoning versus the Old Bay seasoning? 
which one is your favorite. Love to hear from you. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my new YouTube channel, Epicurean uh, with Eric Ye, or er you know, Epicurean Eric, you can find that uh, by simply Google searching or on the uh, search uh, section of the YouTube uh, homepage. I will come up uh, right away. And uh, as usual, don't forget to uh, hit that bell notification icon on the top right hand corner of your screen so you always get notified when I post my next video. Uh, that's, it gonna, that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.